Hey guys, how are you doing? This is me, Cruz the Doberman again. Cruz, as most of my subscribers know, is a five-year-old Doberman pincher. Uh, we adopted him from a man can no longer take care of him. Uh, he's got cropped ears. He's a big old boy. He likes to run. He likes to have fun. Now, I have suffered an injury lately, and this brought up an interesting problem in our home life. And the problem is that I was the primary alpha in controlling and when we would go in public. Cruz is not great on a leash. We live in the country. Uh, we live in the back of mostly nowhere. And uh, he gets to roam and do whatever he pleases. And when we're here, where we live, there's not much of a problem with it. We have a fenced-in area to keep it from bothering the neighbors. <laughs> or we walk out here with him uh, in the yard and kind of keep an eye on it. He goes for mountain runs, he goes anywhere we go and has a good time. But recently we learned that uh, when we go in public and on leash, he has a lot more problems with her. Now he has problems on leash anyway at first because we don't have him on leash very often and he forgets those skills really fast. So I thought I'd do a little video and, and show you how we kind of get him back up to speed on some leash training. So one of the important things of leash training is he wants to pull in the leash and most dogs want to pull on your leash as you're trying to walk them. So you want to stop that behavior and you want to stop the reward for it and you simply do that by stopping. Uh, you stop walking and make him come back beside you and heal and then you say all right we're gonna walk and you slowly start walking again. When he starts pulling away from you and starts pulling up you stop, pull back, make him come back to you again and you start over. And that's what we did again until he got the hang of it again. Now it's what Coco did again. Uh, you'll see her in the video in the parking lot here uh, working with him, stopping, making him come back and restarting. Where are you going? I guess your car. You heard your mommy. See, there's an example. You don't want to listen to her as good. All right. <laughs> He's excited. Today's treat comes to us courtesy of our patrons on Patreon. Car. And it is 100% grade A USDA choice beef tips steak. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. <laughs> Sit. I'm five. Right. Oh gosh. A little rough that time, buddy. Alright, so we're gonna practice this one. Easy. 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 This is for the big one. This is for the big one. Spin. Sit. <coughs> Sit. Speak. Uh, uh, speak. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you, Patreon. Thank you. So I do want a special thanks to Patreon uh, to go out there. And the reason is YouTube lately, I understand they're trying to uh, keep it more family friendly and, and they've been having some problems with some advertisers, things like that. But, uh, They've been cutting down on a lot of uh, monetization and things for creators like us. And just the fact that he's a Doberman Pinscher, the, the word Doberman Pinscher has been causing a trip in their system uh, to take the monetization and we have to apply for it to get it back and sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. I guess it's uh, the reputation of the dog, even though he's a wonderful good boy and our videos have nothing to do with anything other than wholesome and family friendly. For the most part, I think. Anyway, uh, just sometimes putting the word Doberman Pinscher in there, uh, we lose monetization. And uh, 
So anyway, special thanks to the people who take the time uh, to donate through Patreon. We really appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you want to, if you're a Patreon, if you're a patron, let us know on Patreon what you want his next treat to be next week. Uh, so, and that's what we'll do.